good morning uh, yet another uh, su- subject uh, which may be alien to some of the young lawyers but uh, still i insist to go to this area also because nowadays it is regular practice uh, which we deals with uh, uh, matrimonial causes and the people are getting divorce custody order from foreign courts and wanted to enforce in india uh, there may be multi number of uh, leading lawyers in this field who may be engaged by financially sound persons but uh, unfortunate women poor persons those whose income was totally invested to get the ma- marriage of their daughter and subsequently resulting this sort of litigation as a duty bound advocates we must know what is this procedures so you go through the section 13 of civil procedure code section uh, 13 deals with that how foreign judgment in india is being enforceable or not so for that uh, mageswari versus ramesh ramayya mageswari versus ramesh ramayya 2023 3 ctc 363 madras 2023 3 ctc 363 madras uh, same uh, judgment is was also available at 2023 to madras weekly note civil 593 madras 2023 to madras weekly note civil 593 madras then uh, also on another case vimal jay chandra versus diana jaren johnson vimal jay chandra versus diana jaren johnson 2023 to mlj fine art four madras madurai bench 2023 to madras law journal fine art four madras so the foreign judgment may be conclusive that means enforceable subject to five conditions they say that judgment would have been pronounced by competent court having jurisdiction then that judgment should not be exported because they, it should be pronounced by uh, merits of the case if the judgment is uh, incorrect view of international law or refusal to recognize law of india then the judgment cannot be considered as conclusive judgment then judgment should not be opposed to natural justice then judgment should not have been obtained by fraud then should not have been delivered on a breach of any law in force in india so all these things are available then to understand it is simple the another case vimal jay chandran specifically deals with because a divorce was granted at foreign court on the ground of irretrievable breakdown of marriage so that ground is not available in india under indian divorce act now that has been now amended that act 1869 therefore uh, 13f of the cpc that judgment is not enforceable in india so this is most important kindly go through that uh, judgment so that you can understand it. so they may have some degree that then you have to search uh, with the assistance of google that the court which uh, passed that degree divorce restitution of conjugal rights appointment of guardianship uh, maintenance all those things and if somebody wanted to enforce it in india then you have to measure the judgment with these following five grounds and go through the judgment so that you can raise your grounds uh, and uh, for, um, for i request all of you do not uh, feel shame or hesitate to draft personally draft it you draft to one one and get it typed then go through it correct it 
and thereafter you can slowly and uh, 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 you must state all valid reasons uh, in the draft itself if you are not capable of arguing the case uh, loudly because the judges are reading the paper they are able to understand uh, what you want to impress upon the court uh, in favor of you other thing is the judges are assisted by legal law clerks so they the law clerks would have read the paper so it is far better that you drop the grounds and then read your cases the best wishes